Welcome back everybody to another PMDG 777-300ER tutorial video for Microsoft Flight Simulator. This episode is all about short field performance, flying a heavy aircraft on a short runway and getting it up in the air safely. So welcome to Princess Juliana in the beautiful island of St. Martin in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're here, as we said at the start, uh, very briefly, the PMDG 777-300ER, which has been an absolute sensation in the community since its release. Today's focus, like we said a moment ago, is all about short field performance. We've got a uh, fairly short runway here at St. Martin, plus some terrain to avoid on runway 10 and we are heavy. We are currently uh, 276,000 kilograms for a flight back to London Heathrow. Now with that in mind, for our takeoff performance today we've loaded the data into the Universal Flight Tablet and I've manually selected a flap configuration of 20 because I know the runway is very short. I don't want it to select optimum because it might suggest 5 which we don't want. So we've set flap 20 which is the highest we can go on the performance calculations and you can see there that we've got uh, our thrust rating and everything else set up accordingly. Weather's imported and we can press that calculate button. The departure routing is all done. as is our thrust limitations page and takeoff reference pages. And that matches our performance calculations as well. So that's all in there and we've also set the MCP for the departure here today too. So all we need to do now, push back, start the engines and then I'll see you guys at the runway to discuss the methodology. As the ground crew then walks away from the aircraft to show us the ground pin and give us the wave. You can see uh, I've added a fix ring uh, for the St. Martin VOR around three miles and that's to avoid all of the terrain. If we briefly have a look at the charts then we're going to um, have a nice simple taxi today down to Charlie, backtrack 1-0, turn at the end and we're going to use all of the length um, at the bottom because we've only got a 2300 meter runway today so really short bearing in mind we're super heavy zero margin for error so this is where we want to make sure that our performance calculations have been absolutely 100% accurate and carefully completed we're going to use as much of this turning circle as possible and then when we are facing down the runway we're going to hold her on the brakes and get those engines spooled up as high as we can before we release those brakes. Hence the old jet wash effect at the beach. Which is naturally of course notorious with aviation enthusiasts. And uh, this uh, departure of course famous around the world. So having completed the turning circle. Holding on the brakes, everything set. We've got LNAV, VNAV, all armed. And with the parking brake off, what I'm going to do is hold those brakes down. Advance the throttles to about 40% N1. Remember, this is a flap 20 departure. It's all going to start happening pretty quick, including flap retraction after takeoff. Engines are stable, 45% M1, so be it. And then we're going to press Toga now, and as the engines start to spool up, we're going to release them brakes. Now. Speed's alive. Power set. Maintain that centre line, all the normal stuff for departure, 80 knots.
B1 rotates gently back. B2. Continue the rotation. There's the end of the runway. Safely up the flap 20. Anything else would have been probably too risky. Following the flight, direct to positive rate gear up. And to maintain visual flight around the terrain, we begin our turn right and begin our flap retraction sh uh, schedule as well. So just uh, pitching up a bit more to match the flight director. Flap 15. One more notch to flap 5. Letting the nose gently come down to allow the acceleration of the aeroplane away from the train. Nice and safe. Still in manual flight with this departure at the moment. Following the flight director looking at the speed through flap 5. And rolling out. So, so now flap one. Continuing to retract the flaps. And at this point now with wings level on the flight director. Autopilot engaged. Aeroplane's got the controls. And we'll continue to wind her up to whatever altitude we want. We'll set 180 for now. Auto brakes off. Runway turn off lights can go off, uh, taxi lights can go off as well, and flaps up speeds achieved. Flaps up. And then we'll go through the after takeoff checks. And that is it. A beautifully sporty departure out of St. Martin's Princess Juliard uh, International. Hope you found the video useful. Let us know how you guys are getting on with the 777 as well. It's uh, such a remarkable aeroplane in the sim, isn't it? And uh, they've been setting all kinds of records, I imagine, with such a stunning simulation of this remarkably big aircraft. Hit like, hit subscribe, share your thoughts, and I'll see you in another video or live stream in the near future. But in the meantime, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take care.